cuts to special education have parents fired up over the summer. The metro school system will lose dozens of paraprofessionals. Now they help those students make it through the school day. As the district tried to help displaced workers today, parents promised a fight. Channel 4's Josh Devine has an update on that. A push for inclusion now means a fight for jobs. It is a vital service that for some students makes the difference for them. As the school year ended, the Metro school system announced plans to cut about 130 paraprofessionals. They don't teach, but they help special education students remove distractions to help them make the most of their day. I believe that these cuts threaten Metro's efforts to move towards inclusive educational practices and that they stand to negatively impact students with disabilities. Federal funds provided pay for the past few years, but the grant expired. It didn't surprise the district, but it did surprise a few parents. Several used a disability conference in Donaldson today to speak out. Even students with significant disabilities are to be served to the greatest extent possible in the general education classroom with supports and services. Even with the cuts, the district touted state statistics today showing Metro spends more money per special education student than any district in the state. It was a very deliberative decision. It was going through school by school um, and looking at the changes. If you have too many paraprofessionals, they will be doing things for students that we actually should be helping students to learn to be able to do themselves. Still, the cuts do not sit well with the parents pledging a fight over principle and priorities. There is enough dollars in somebody's budget somewhere to make sure that this doesn't happen. The district will hold a special meeting with parents next week to explain this change and the the rationale. Many of the parents we spoke with told us they will be here for that meeting next week, if anything, to force the district to reconsider. In South Nashville, Josh Devine, Channel 4 News. The district hosted a job fair for those displaced workers today. Some are going to move to transportation, food services, or clerical work. Others may wind up back in the classroom later this school year. More than 100 Metro school employees are looking for new jobs this summer. The district cut about 130 special education assistants because many of those jobs were filled with federal stimulus money that is now dried up. As Aaron Holt reports, many teachers and parents are outraged by the decision. All of my evaluations have been outstanding and this is the first year that I've actually had a problem. This special education assistant who didn't want to be identified says her problem began on the last day of school when she found out she was fired. It was devastating after all these years to think that I have to now look for a job because um, I'm no longer needed, apparently. You know, we can cut a little now, um, but I think we're going to pay a lot later, so it just doesn't really make sense. Belinda Pandy has two children with special needs in the Metro school system. Pandy's son, Justin, is about to enter high school, and her younger son is in middle school. I think that this is a very short-sighted cut in that um, this is really our window to affect change with this population. In Metro schools, students like Justin attend class with the general population. It's this inclusionary method of instruction parents worry will suffer. And with 130 paraprofessionals exiting the classrooms, mm -hmm. some teachers will have no choice but to use isolation and seclusion as an option, which is heartbreaking. Some of them are nonverbal. Some of them can't express how they feel or what they do. And we're the only voice they have. And now they're taking their voice away. Metro Schools tells us they knew all along this federal stimulus money was going away and that some jobs would eventually need to be cut. That's why they say they did a school by school school student by student analysis to see what schools would be impacted. Some displaced assistants attended a job fair at Metro schools Friday afternoon, but there likely won't be enough positions to give everyone out of work a new spot in the district. I'm crossing my fingers, I'm praying and hoping I get a job as a job fair. Aaron Holt, Nashville's News 2. Metro School tell us that some of the cuts were based on teachers' abilities to perform the job and not because they were hired with stimulus money. Now, there's a special meeting scheduled for Monday, June 4th at the Metro School Board building at 11 a.m. for people who have concerns and they can speak with school officials.